as a nation, you don't know yourself because of what you're doing in the heart of your power. You know who you are and what your values really are by how they play out in your farthest, farthest edges. You know, I grew up at the margin of our society. I immigrated in 1974 from the Dominican Republic. I had never even seen a map of the United States. I had never seen any photographs. But you know, the best part about being a kid is that you don't know any better. I assumed everybody, when they were six years old, was pulled up out of their home country and placed in another place where you had to learn English. Well, when I think about what it should mean to be an American, I think of my librarian, Mrs. Crowell, a woman who couldn't speak a word of Spanish and yet took this kid who couldn't speak a word of English and made sure that I understood my privileges in the library. Mrs. Crow believed deep in her heart that one day someone would walk into her library, some little first, second, or third grader, who would become a writer. Who in the world could not love the public library? It was fair as hell. Every single person could take out as many books as the other person. Yeah, and it didn't matter that I was poor. It didn't matter that I had an accent. The public library as a concept, this is as American as jazz, man. As a nation, we need institutions, public institutions that reinforce our civic society. And when all's said and done, if we will be remembered for anything as a nation, hopefully we will be remembered for that.